on this episode of The Boss Lady. We take a look at one of Kenya's sought-after interior architect, Noni Wanye. I like art, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm very good with art and I, I love math. And she said, interior designer. But how do you transition from just an interior designer to an interior architect? What is the next best thing? Because I've already done interior design. And she said, do interior architecture. And I said, what? She is the brains behind the designs in one of Kenya's most famous institutions. Being able to get them to bring it into life takes quite a bit of work. All this coming up next on The Boss Lady. What does a boss lady mean to me? Oh gosh, let me think. You are a mother, a doctor, a teacher. You're everything everybody expects you to be and you still come out strong. I think that's what a boss lady is. Hi, my name is Noni Wanye, also known as Anna Nicole Wanye. I am the director at Revo Design Studios and I do interior architecture and this is the boss lady. A walk in the National Library and it's clear that works is still underway. The pieces of art speak volumes and tell a story, one that we will find out about later in the show, but who is the mastermind behind the design of such important national structures? Meet Anna Nicole Wanye, or as many would call her, Noni. Kenyan-born but spent most of her young adult life in the United States. Having studied Bachelor of Arts in the Interior Architecture in San Jose State University, it was no doubt that Noni would go ahead and work in an architectural industry and design for that matter. Hence, when she founded her company, River Designs, in the United States, California, in 2000, it was a no-brainer. Four years later, after working in the U.S. for 15 years, Revo Designs and Noni packed up and came back home to Nairobi, Kenya, Lovington Mall. Revo Designs is an interior and architecture company. Her work as an architectural designer entails focusing on the design aspects of a building including the plumbing, lighting, ventilation, deco and furniture layout. Some of her clients from the U.S. include Sinanian Development, WLACC, Culver City of Oakland, 81st Avenue Branch Library, Oakland Father River Community College, Fire Station No. 83, Antioch Peralta Community College, Buckley, among many others and some more in Kenya that we'll know later on in the show. I went to college and he insisted because my mom insisted, like, what is Noni doing? Is she in college yet? And have you registered? You never come back home, or you used to come no, visit? no, you never no, came I never came back. So my dad said, well, your mom says you have to go to college. And I said, yeah. I said, okay, fine. So he forced me. So I walked into Chabot College in Hayward. I went into the counselor's office and I said, what is the easiest subject I could take? <laughs> Seriously, just tell me what's, what is the easiest bottom line. Yeah. And we went through a series of stuff. You know, do you like psychology? Do you like sociology? Do you, what, what, what do you think you like? I said, well, I like art. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm very good with art and I, I love math. And she said, interior designer just be an interior designer. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what does it entail? She says, oh, just colors and drawing here and there. And I said, okay, fine. That's what I'm gonna do. So I was so excited. That's right. Here are some of the things you didn't know about Noni. Noni was born in Kenya, 
When I was born, my father wasn't around. Uh, my mom was actually pregnant with me when he left. And over the years, we struggled a lot. Um, my mother struggled and to bring up the family of four. And then one day, we just um, were going to my sister's birthday. And my mom uh, overhears some people talking. And they'd come from California. One thing led to the other. And, you know, she, she was looking for her husband who had disappeared years ago. And a month later, they gave her a phone number. And they were both in touch. And then after a few negotiations, he said, I want my last one. I was 14 years old at the time, and my mom, um, due to her economic scale, decided, why not give you the 14-year-old? I get to go back to the land, and we call it fair. So sooner did I know it, my bags were packed, and I was off to the States. And that was the beginning of a new chapter as we know it. She went on to start her company, River Design Studios, in 2000 in the States that she ran with her then-husband until a life-changing moment happened to her. My dad passed away. Passed away in 2007 and then I had to fly back with the kids to, to this country you know, to bury my dad. And from then on, um, the biggest question when I was going back was, what is life? Where are you going? You know, is it about just making money and living rather than just being with your family and appreciating life as it is? So I come in here in 2000 and I look around, in 2007, I look around and I go, wow, this isn't the Kenya I left, you know? And I started wondering, who, who are all these people doing all these buildings and working so hard and, you know, and, and, and in my country, what am I doing in a foreign world? And so it was, a, it was a, like a really long um, journey to just go back and and having to think about all of that. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going back to school. Wow. I'm going back to school. I'm gonna pick up from where I left and I'm going to do architecture. So I went back, um, took my credentials and applied wow. in, two, in 2000, yes, in 2008. Well, to get into architecture program entailed X amount of things that you had to meet. Yes, exactly. And so, and it was gonna take me years to now reorganize myself to get to what I needed because I felt like I would, I would have regretted not doing it because I felt like it was, I left in the middle of my journey, in my education. And so, I went, I walked in again to a counselor's office and I said, this is what I think I want to do. Of course, she said, this is what you have to meet and blah, 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 and you need eight years for blah, blah, blah. Eight years. Yeah, to practice in order to meet the credentials of a real architect so that you can get licensed. And, and I go, ugh, oh, and I said, what is the next best thing? Because I've already done interior design. And she said, do interior architecture. And I said, what? Yeah, she said, it's gonna take you three years. You've already done your general ed subjects. You don't need the four or five years. You just need three years. I said, great, bring it on. So 2008, 2009, and uh, 2009, 2010, and 2011, graduated with interior architecture in May. So during that time, I not only had to be a mom, but I also had to work in and compete in interior architectural world, you know, um, and being able to meet all the needs that I needed to meet. And I thought, 
this is great and it started really enhancing my business in the States at the time and I thought this would just be great you know I could just pack up and just you know uplift my business from Tracy and put it down in Kenya and so when did your business uh, peak well I picked up some pretty good projects um, I picked up um, in a Shapai. I did the Ooh. nightclub yeah wow. yeah <laughs> okay, and Shapai is beautiful, uh huh? Yeah, and then there was Mwalimo Sako, which is a, a building in Upper Hill. I'm currently now doing um, the National Library, Kenya National Library. Something that we are going to be a part of, thankfully. So, which in all those projects that you've mentioned, yeah, which one has been your favorite? Oh, it's hard to say. I've got Don't several be scared. <laughs> Definitely, uh, doing the nightclub in Enishapai was very challenging. It was different because we had to sell something outside the box, and so it, it was it was interesting that the client bought it, um, and and which has turned out to be very good. Um, the East African Aviation Library, I did that one too, uh, and then of course the Kenya National Library, which is my latest, I think. That has been very interesting because you have to encompass it, the entire nation. She shows me the concept paper of the National Library. I saw her ideas on paper and now on the ground and luckier you that after the break we get to see her vision to fruition.